So, this is paradise. If you can afford. Gentlemen, glad to hear you made it out of New York. Where are we? Olivia decrypted the Data 47 recovered from the bank. We isolated three transactions from Providence partner accounts. All made out to Haven, a small corporation operating out of the Maldives. And what does Haven do? To the public, they specialize in reputation management for the rich and famous. The real money, however, comes from the covert reconstruction of identities for wealthy criminals. They make people disappear. The partners are using Haven to acquire new identities. Yes. Olivia's been attempting to hack the Haven servers, but the owners of Haven are manually resetting the access keys every 10 hours. That, unfortunately, makes them targets. Haven Island is a true tropical paradise. Owned by the company's founder, Tyson Williams, the island is used by Haven as a combined headquarters and client entertainment center. Current and potential clients are ferried to the island and treated to the very best the Maldives have to offer. Michelin star chefs, a full massage spa, private huts, exercise facilities, and all the comforts of a luxury island resort are made available to them. 47. We'll be sending you in as a potential new client. We've put together a convincing cover story. You're Mr. Reaper, a thief for hire looking to disappear for a while. Your mission on the island is simple. You need to eliminate the three owners of Haven. Tyson Williams, founder and rumored tyrannical CEO of Haven. Ludmilla Vitrova, a former confidence artist hired by Williams to serve as a client recruiter and handler. And Stephen Bradley, technical wizard and the brains behind Haven's proprietary software platform. With the owners gone, Olivia will be able to penetrate the Haven servers long enough for her to secure the new partner identities. I've uploaded all the information we have on the island and the three targets. Best of luck, gentlemen. Hmm. I don't rely on luck. Well, a little wouldn't hurt. Welcome to the Maldives, 47. The Haven Island staff is ready to receive you under your assumed identity as Tobias Reaper, a professional thief looking to retire from a life of crime. Ludmilla Vitrova can be found in the public sections of the island primarily tending to client needs. Stephen Bradley alternates between looking after a strict training regimen and working on a small private island. While Tyson Williams roams his large villa estate at the back of the island. This is it, 47. Eliminating the three owners of Haven should buy Miss Hall the time needed to do a full penetration and retrieval of the Providence partner data. Best of luck, 47.
Mr. Reaper. Welcome to Haven Island. Oh, please collect your key to the private hut in the welcome center. Okay, enjoy your stay. Mr. Reaper, welcome to Haven. Here is the key for your personal hut. Um, it's the one behind you on the right. Oh, and Miss Vitrova asked me to... Yeah, hey, bro. So nice to finally get... Phew. I'm glad we don't have to talk to that Vitrova woman anymore. Did you notice how clingy she was last night? Portman could hardly get away from her. Embarrassing. She certainly seemed eager. I overheard her talking to one of the staffers as well. Apparently, she's really eager to get him out of the house. No idea why. So that's why the servant lady kept asking if he was... So, by the sounds of it, Miss Vitrova is very keen on getting Jason... In there. Wow, that's really creepy. What is Vitrova up to? Don't know. This whole place is really creepy. I can't believe Jason is helping me sell off everything. I think he's done for. Maybe he'll be having a field day with him selling part of his name as a harlotter and advertising. Oh, Vitrova. I'm fine. What can I do for you? you want a beer? It's a little early for me. No, I was thinking... This is a restricted a area. Excuse me, sir. This area's off limits. Sure. Uh, let's talk on the patio. That's good, sir. Keep walking. There's nothing here for you. So, what's up? Well, uh -huh. as I mentioned at dinner last night, we're prepared to pay you hundred million dollars for your controlling shares in much talk. But as you left, I sent some apprehension. Well, frankly, I was surprised to see that goddamn hack Stephen Bradley at dinner last night. my concept and and my code and made millions on it. I'm really not too keen on giving him the keys to my latest empire. <laughs> Stay seed. Hear me out, all right? I'm a new man. I've given up on the whole thing, much talk, quantum leap, you, you name it. It's, it's all in the past. In fact, I'm wrapping up everything today. I'm selling the business, the data, the back end, all of it. Half a billion dollars, Stacy. <laughs> so that's Jason Portman taken care of. I wonder what Miss Vitrova will do now. Wonderful. 
Mr. Reaper, welcome to Haven Island. Oh, please collect your key. To the Mr. Reaper, welcome to Haven. Here is the key for your personal hut. Um, it's the one behind you on the right. Oh. Hang on, that's Jason Portman, former CEO of Quantum Leap and current CEO of Much Talk, the disreputed social media network currently involved in a user data scandal. Why is he here, 47? on the patio. So, what's up? Well, as I mentioned at dinner last night, we're prepared to pay you five hundred million dollars for your controlling shares in much talk. But as you left, I sent some Apprehension. Well, frankly, I was surprised to see that goddamn hack Stephen Bradley at dinner last night to discover he is part of your company. No, let's just say I'm not impressed. I understand you have a troubled past. Something about a college project. Troubled? That's putting it mildly. He stole my concept and his. So, by the sounds of it. Miss Vitrova is very keen on getting Jason Portman, former CEO of Quantum Leap. And my co and made millions on me. I'm really not too keen on giving you the keys to my latest empire. Perhaps if you looked at it like this. Stephen has been unable to construct anything remotely resembling Quantum Leap and much talk. Your work is clearly superior to his, which is why we're offering you half a billion. Oh. Look, Jason, I feel like we're very close to making an agreement here, and, well, you did come to us with your particular need. How about I set up a nice session over at the farm for you to release the tension? I don't know. I have to think about this. That's perfectly fine. I'll come by later. on the whole thing, much talk, quantum leap, you, you name it, it's, it's all in the past. In fact, I'm wrapping up everything today. I'm selling the business, the data, the back end, all of it. Half a billion dollars, Stacy. <laughs> we can go anywhere, do anything. Reconnecting the past. <laughs> Anywhere you want. Uh, in your dreams. You've got the, the new vegan place on 5th. Well, I'm down with that. <laughs> uh, meat is murder, right? 
Oh, uh, I see. Okay. Well, maybe just uh, think about it for now. <laughs> okay. Stacy. Stacy. Damn it. Hey, you. So oh, that's Jason Portman taken care of. I wonder what Miss Vitrova will do now. Stay calm. Stay calm. Okay, that must be his computer. Hmm, password. Better call Stephen. Stephen, it's me. I have Portman's computer. What now? What? Okay, got it. And then what? What a mess, what a mess, what, jeez. I just need that USB from the villa. I'm hoping our new arrival, Mr. Reaper, might be of assistance here. He certainly looks to have the skills. Excuse me? Yep, I'm good. Nobody knows it. Okay. It's nothing. Oh, you did it, Mila. All is cool, all is cool. Two targets remain. Good work, 47. Ludmila Vitrova has been permanently retired.
yourself, then I would suggest you simply stay here. Sorry, sir, got orders. Can't let you through. Sorry for the inconvenience. Huh? Oh, yeah. on the line here, you got it? Whoever stole Mr. Williams' USB key had access to the villa, so it must be somebody working with us. Nothing yet. I've told the others this is a top priority, sir. Well, damn it. Review the tapes, find the perp, and get me that USB. Mr. Williams will reward you handsomely for the fine, but more importantly, I get to keep my job. That's clearly the most important part, sir. Okay. A thief in paradise. Someone stolen a USB from Tyson Williams, and now the entire security squad is looking. Well, what are you standing around for? Go! Looking good today, sir.
Anyone found anything on the security tapes yet? It's my ass on the line here, you got it? Whoever stole Mr. Williams' USB key had access to the villa, so it must be somebody worth it. Nothing yet. Hey, how you doing, sir? We have some weird noises. I'll have a look around. Wow. Voicemail again? Yes. Hello, Miss Vitrova.
just maybe some more light therapy is needed. <laughs> that Mr. is Williams, Tyson Williams, I understand you were CEO for this. of Haven, a reputed paranoid tyrant. Williams is known for his bad temper and heavy handedness. My USB drive. Finally, some good news. And the thief? Taken care of. Good. Good. I like you. Come with me. I'd like to personally reward you for your good work. I mean, what could do something like that? I hope it's not contagious. Access to William's secret office. Good place for a one-on-one, -on -one, 47. You Change the pin code. Back off. All right. That's that. I'll wire a handsome reward to your personal account, my friend. Or maybe... You know what? I have a better idea. Well, Mike. I guess at least one person in my security detail is in a complete failure. This man just brought me my stolen item. You got anything to say for yourself? I, uh, I guess he got lucky. Lucky? Lucky? You get your things and get out of my sight! I guess you just got promoted a personal bodyguard. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Well, Mike's been getting on my nerves for months now. The man's got no sense of personal space, you know? This promotion is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for you. Make the most of it. Rest assured, Mr. Williams, I will. Good man. Your new outfit's in that locker behind you. I'm just gonna do some work in here for a while. Alone. Make sure no when he comes in. Yes, sir, Mr. Williams. Tyson Williams eliminated. Excellent work, 47. Just one more target to go.
guy? How is he even allowed to work here? Well, I'm afraid it's going to be hard to fire him. He's Hayden's chief software engineer of one of the owners. He almost killed us. The boat is still out there in the water sunk. I could have been in there, and all because he wanted to show off on that water scooter. What an absolute ass. Yeah, he's not going out again, though. The scuba instructor grabbed his keys and won't give them back to him. I overheard the talking while looking at the gear. So, Stephen Bradley likes to go on water scooters but is unable to go out because the scuba instructor confiscated his keys. Shame. Those things are very accident-prone. I'm glad we don't have to talk to that Petrova woman anymore. Did you notice how clingy she was last night? Portman could hardly get away from her. Looks perfect. You scared death himself. Sorry, what? You want some of this? No really? Game. No game. Well, all right. I guess you asked for it. All right. Time to fight. I can deal with one of these. Uh, yeah, that's great.
So, that's Stephen Bradley taken care of. Well done. That's all we need to do from here. Miss Hall should be able to extract the information needed from the Haven servers. Good work, 47.